everyone, it's Katie with Rhea Health, and today I'm here with Laura. Laura is a certified health and wellness coach and coach here at Rhea. And today, Laura has some mindfulness tips that she'd like to share with you all um, that she's seen help members here at Rhea to maintain mindfulness around drinking um, this holiday season and beyond. So whether you are practicing the Sinclair method for alcohol use disorder, or you just wanna bring in some moderation management tips, um, Laura is here to share some of her best tips with you today. So Laura, thank you so much for being here and please take it away. Yeah, thanks Katie. So yeah, um, so I have five um, holiday tips um, for mindful drinking and these are tips that um, have helped other RIA members in the program. So the first one is um, going into um, a family or a holiday event with a different perspective and um, yeah, being able to uh, go in with confidence and a different perspective. So being able to tell yourself that I don't need alcohol to have a good time with family and friends, um, that sort of thing. So being able to go in that way. And then um, the second tip is planning ahead on whatever decision you decide to make as far as um, drinking. So if you decide that you're not going to drink at all um, at the holiday party, um, stick to that, really commit to that. Um, and, and same with, I'm just going to have one glass and that'll be it, really committing to that. And a helpful tip with that is to set an alarm so that you can stay present. So setting that alarm that it, it goes off at the party or something like that and it has a little reminder of um, just being able to stay in the present moment. Um, the third tip I have is bringing something else um, instead to drink that is non-alcoholic. So that can be LaCroix, apple cider, um, hot chocolate, so anything that's festive but that is non-alcoholic so that you have a backup. And you can also use this as a gift to bring to the family event. And my fourth tip is having, just remembering having gratitude. So um, this is a time of year that you wanna come together and be with friends and family. And the holidays are a time for sharing that gratitude together and joy with others. So just remembering um, the intention around the holiday season. Um, and then my fifth one is setting um, clear boundaries. So remembering, um, I really like the analogy of the uh, airplane where you need to remember to take care of yourself and putting on your oxygen mask first. So that is what healthy boundaries look like. So if you're at a family event and there's tension in the room, being able to take a step out, go to the bathroom, giving yourself that break. Um, or even taking some deep breaths. So you are allowed to do that. This, those are uh, healthy boundaries to set up. Um, so those are the five tips that I have for the holidays. Thank you so much, Laura, and wishing everyone a safe and happy holiday season and wish you the best in moderating your alcohol consumption this holiday season as well. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.